Hey guys, how are you doing? So a lot of you guys ask about, you know, a little tutorial about anodizing, titanium anodizing. And it's very simple actually. There are two, <coughs> two methods at least, uh, what I know of. One is heat anodizing and I can actually show, uh, that's straight forward, this titanium rod. So you would heat it up with a flame, you know, and depending on the temperatures there, you can always, on the internet, you can find actual numbers also, what degrees goes to what, what, uh, what color but you just you know heat it up and then cool it down and that changes the colors the other more convenient more control method is uh, electro -analyzing. very simple DC power supply variable uh, Vindex I use just for cleaning and it brings out the colors a lot better you know it's uh, soap water will do the just, just as well but this is just convenient and this is actually just a distilled water mixed with T TSP PF it's a, what is it, phosphate free, like, it's a dust, you know, powder that you mix with something and it's for cleaning originally. It, you can buy pretty much every drug uh, drugstore or uh, like Home Depot and stuff like that where they sell the cleaning stuff. It's, I think, like four or five dollars, very cheap, and this will last you a lifetime because you only put a couple, couple ounces into a gallon of distilled water. So what you do is you put your negative lead you get a titanium little plate, the plate supposed to be larger than the object that you anodizing so you know if you get a plate like this that's plenty big just a little you know it doesn't matter on the thickness or anything it just you know it makes your negative contact in it and then the positive one thing is if you don't have you know titanium or uh, what's the other metal now the nail medium or I, I can't even pronounce it you don't want to touch this into the solution because it kinda you know uh, messes with it and stuff like that so I'm gonna give you an example uh, 9 9 volts 9.6 I have a, I like marked it up here just for a little quick reference is bronze so I'm gonna just look at that you see how it changed color almost instantly it's like a goldish yeah like a goldish bronzish color let's say another one you know I'm just gonna keep changing the voltage and it will keep changing the colors 13.8 the higher voltage will always change the color on the lower voltage that's actually a next trick I'm gonna show you that's how you do the two tones so you see how it get darker you know what, actually let me get the piece of paper towel so you get the white background I'll show you every time You can, you're gonna have better better idea of that color you see it's like darker darker gold next one I have here mark actually this is the one it's about 16 volt the one I came at last time is almost like an orange orange with like a purple haze I actually really like that That's this, like a bronze, I think some people would call it bronze. There you go. Then you have like a purple, around 21 volts. So let's try to get that. And uh, my anodizing machine, my power supply is actually only the cheap one. I found myself, it was about $100. The better ones are more expensive. And uh, that's the ones that, that the, your volt scale goes from zero see that's kind of like a purple it's kind of hard hard to see yep there you go uh, the better ones you can also buy the whole pre-made kit it's actually from zero to 120 and that one gives you more and more colors towards the end you know you get that green and a kind of like a pink <coughs> look at that this one is 25.5 that's a really nice blue I like so it gives you a lot more colors that you can do with it but it also is a lot more money you know my system costs me about hundred twenty dollars altogether you see that pretty cool blue and my actually maxes out at 30 what is it it shows 31 volts so let's see what that does 31 is like light blue light blue color 
<coughs> and what I want to show you, a lot of people ask, how do I do that two-tone finish? So I'm going to show you, I'll bring this back to 25, so I get the dark, so I will achieve that nice contrast. I'll actually do the whole thing. So I have the whole rod blue now. Half is light blue, half is dark blue. What I'm gonna do, just to do it real quick, I use a drill for this. You just send down the arras that you wanna have different color. And remember, you always wanna have your darker color first, the higher voltage first. So when you're going back with the lower voltages, it doesn't do anything to the higher voltage, you know? So I'll just do this. So you see, I did three, three lines there, just to expose the clean titanium again. And I just lower the voltage, so let's say I want to do this one here on the end, I want to do, uh, I'll do that bronze, like 16 volts, right? Or let's say purple, 21. So I'll do 21. It's hard to see on this now, but it is slightly different than that blue. Now the next one I'm gonna go for that bronze. So around 16. See this one is nice and visible difference. You see? And let's say the last one I'm gonna go for gold at 13.8 that's that nice vibrant really shiny gold let me clear it off for you with the windex so there you see see this one is that gold gold this one is that like a bronze orangish gold and here's the purple so it's really as simple as that just your imagination, you know, you send stuff down to, you know, you anodize it first, like I did with this one. Actually, I'm going to show you on this one. I'm going to do that P I ground send it down that switch, because I realized that I can actually do something really nice there for that switch with this gold, the gold gold. And, you know, everything is done, but all these colors that are right now are on the high voltage, so... I'll just have it set to third, you know, the gold color. Tank it in. And nothing changes except that that was expo exposed and that's like that really cool gold, that gold gold. So that's it, really simple as that guys. And like I said in the earlier video, if it if your titanium and titanium gets oils on it and gets dull, the color gets dull and stuff, all you have to do is wipe it down with the soap water on or windex. And it will really bring out the colors in a second. So that's a nice little trick. See, really cool. It's literally oils from your fingers that kind of, you know, uh, changes the colors on it. And I just noticed I have scratch here on the on the blade. I did the Kydex sheet for it today. These ones are tricky to do with the. <laughs> With all these st grooves on the spine, they are pretty tricky to do. I think I'm gonna have a fun time trying to adjust this to the, you know, to something what I like personally. It's good, but it's, it's a little harder to remove. It gets caught on all the grooves. So I think I'm still gonna have some fun tweaking this out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.